Harry Potter! It seems like people have been crying out for a great Harry Potter game ever since the series began. I know there have been some movie tying games that have been up and down in terms of quality, but we are finally getting a full-fledged Harry Potter game, and today I want to talk about everything that's been revealed so far for Hogwarts Legacy. Welcome to Chaos Gaming, everybody. This is going to be fun. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you share this around with a fellow Harry Potter fan. Me and my daughter, Lainey, just went through all of the movies in about, I'd say about a week. We went from beginning all the way to the end. So I'm psyched for this video and this video game. Now, Hogwarts Legacy, if you didn't know, is an open world action RPG. It's being developed by Avalanche Software and published by Warner Brothers themselves. Now, Avalanche, has a pretty bizarre track record, I have to say. They're a bit of an odd choice for the game, but okay, whatever. In the early 2000s, they brought us an extremely underrated uh, tack in the power of Juju, and they also developed the rather popular Disney Infinity, but they spent most of the mid-2000s just making movie tie-in games. Chicken Little, Meet the Robinsons, Toy Story 3. They're not flat-out bad games, but they're not the first studio you'd expect for a game like this. It's also worth noting, Hogwarts Legacy will be the first big release on Port Key Games, which is Warner Brothers' new label for Harry Potter games. Now, there have been a handful of mobile games released under Port Key. So far, Hogwarts Legacy will be the first big budget console release, so we're gonna have to wait and see how that goes. Now, in terms of the game, the setting, Hogwarts Legacy is going to be rather different from the world that we're used to. Yes, it's gonna take place at Hogwarts, obviously, but it's also going to take place in the late 1800s, so things are gonna be very different from the main Harry Potter storyline, which took place in the 90s. Now, in terms of gameplay, it's pretty much everything we've been asking for from a Harry Potter RPG. You make a custom character, character creator, extremely detailed, allows you to customize your character's body appearance and even voice and prefer or preferred pronouns. Then you come to Hogwarts as a new student and you have to attend classes to learn spells, interact with other characters, but the open world will also cover the surrounding area like Hogsmeade and the Forbidden Forest. Now, according to interviews, you'll also be able to tame various magical beasts and there will be a morality system flowing through the entire thing that does impact the story and how it turns out for your character. What I mean by that is your choices are going to matter. The game was originally announced in September of 2020, but it's been in the work for a long time. Gameplay footage leaked all the way back in 2018, so this thing has been in the oven for well over three years. It was also supposed to drop this year, but a couple months ago it was announced that the title was being delayed to next year. So if you were hoping to get your hands on it before 2022, you're out of luck. Hogwarts Legacy will be a cross-generation title. They said it will release on the PS4, the Xbox One, as well as the PS5 and the Series X, and a PC, of course. That's happening, too. Now let's talk about the story. It's a bit of a weird topic. Like I said, the game is set in the 1800s and apparently written by the studio. According to various reports, J.K. Rowling is not involved with the creative aspects of the game, but at the end of the day, it is still her intellectual property, and she has the final say on what makes the final cut, so I'm not sure if it's totally accurate to say she's not involved or what. Regardless, though, Hogwarts Legacy will have you playing as a new student at the Fame School, and according to the studio's website, you have received a late acceptance to the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and soon discover you're not ordinary. You possess an unusual ability, perceive and master ancient magic. So only you can decide if you will protect the secret from the good of all, or yield to the temptation of more dark, sinister magic. That's really all we know. It's unclear if the game is going to directly tie in with the established lore and canon, or if it's going to go off in its own direction. Obviously, with it being a, being a prequel of sorts, we know we can't kill Voldemort, or blow up Hogwarts, or anything like that, so trying to remain canon, we'll, we'll see. I don't know yet. We'll have to wait for more information to come out before we figure out just how involved with the established lore the game is going for. For reference, just about every Harry Potter video game up until this point has not been considered canon, but to play devil's advocate, They've also never seen this big of a title, so we're gonna have to wait and see once it gear gets cleaned or gets cleaned up. And then finally, gameplay. Bit of a question mark. Like I said, there's a bit of leak gameplay a few years ago, but given that it was a work in progress, I don't know how much we should put into that. Games often dramatically change from early stages in development, especially big RPGs like this. So while I could talk about how the leak gameplay shows off multiple spells being usable at one time and how duels with other wizards looks cool, I don't wanna say too much because there's just so for, so little for us to go on. And since it's been in development for almost three years now and it was delayed, I don't really know what to make of what we've seen so far. I don't want to assume. But that's everything we know right now about Hogwarts Legacy. It is coming and hopefully it's fantastic. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon.